Who is an alcoholic? It is anybody whose drinking is causing problems in any area of his life. Let's trace the natural course of this disease by using myself as a hypothetical example. Let's assume Joe Persh is an alcoholic. Let's further assume that I am a valued and valuable employee in American industry. I could be anybody from the chairman of the board to a worker on the production line. Let's say in this case that I'm an executive and a design engineer. Let's go back to the days when I first joined this company as a young engineer. Every Wednesday, I would have two scotch and sodas with my fellow engineer, Bob Smith, until I discovered that Friday is happy hour too. So I'd start getting high on Wednesday with Bob and on Friday with Dave. And on Saturday mornings, when it was time to mow the lawn, I set a cold can of beer on the front step. And as I take a swig with every pass of the lawnmower, I hear my neighbor say to his wife, look, there is Joe Persh mowing his lawn. Look how he's sweating. No wonder he's having a beer. A man who works that hard deserves a beer. So I become a devout lawnmower. <laughs> Alcohol is becoming very important to me. It's beginning to influence my choice of friends. One day, when I'm on my fourth scotch and soda, my friend Bob leaves his first beer unfinished and goes off to a PTA meeting. That embarrasses me but I quickly get into a conversation with some of the regulars at that happy hour bar, guys who have their own happy hour every day. Now, they're not engineers, but they, they still see stories and they drink a lot, and we really get along and we like each other. A long time later, I hear that Bob Smith was transferred four months ago, and I never even noticed, because you see, all of my friends drink a lot. I've grown away from my non-drinking friends. Now, personally, I consider myself still a social drinker. That means every time somebody says, I think I'll have a drink, I say, so shall I. <laughs> My tolerance is increasing. I can drink quite a bit nowadays without showing it. I don't look drunk at all. My friends envy me for this, and they admire me. They say, boy, that guy really, he can really put the booze away. They say that it shows I have a strong constitution. What it really means clinically is that I'm beginning to develop the first sign of addiction which is tolerance. There's a story about a drunken sailor who stands before his captain for the umpteen time. The captain is saying, doggone it, Jones, I'm getting sick and tired seeing you here time and again, drunk and disorderly. Why can't you learn to drink like an officer and a gentleman? To which the sailor replies, I'm sorry, captain, I've tried that, sir, but I just can't hold that much liquor, sir. And then one day, I have a blackout. This means that after a night of drinking, I can't remember some of the things I said and did the night before. This scares my wife so that we have a husband-to-wife talk, which means she talks and I listen. <laughs> she thinks that I might be an alcoholic, and she suggests that I should cut down on my drinking. To get her off my back, I go on 30 days of being on the wagon. At first, I'm quite nervous. I get jittery, shaky. I don't sleep too well. Until I discover that if I steal some of her tranquilizers, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> My drinking buddies are taking bets on how soon I'll fall off the wagon. On the 30th day, I feel that I have proven that I can take it or leave it. So I tell my wife, look, I'm gonna have two scotch and sodas and then I'll go to bed, tomorrow's a working day. The next morning, I wake up at 10 o'clock quite hungover, still a little bit drunk. My wife stands at the foot of the bed and she says, last night you were gonna have two drinks to celebrate the fact that you're not an alcoholic. On your fifth drink, when I reminded you of this, you got angry, you hit me, you stormed in the bedroom and you drank a whole quart. This morning, I did not wake you, I did not call your boss because I'm through covering up for you. You are an alcoholic and I'm leaving, and this time she does.